Hey everybody, welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. We're looking at number 60, and this is supposedly a very difficult problem. It looks scary. Doesn't it look scary? Um, the sides of an acute triangle measure 14, 18, and 20, respectively, which of the following equations when solved for theta, always scary in and of itself, gives the measure of the smallest angle of the triangle. And then they go, note, well, this isn't just a note, this is the all important information we're going to need. These two equations are true for the triangles, such as for acute triangles, such as the one we're describing. We have a ratio here where the sine of an angle over the opposing side length is equal for each of the three angles and sides. Um, and then we have this situation which is essentially that we have something that looks like Pythagorean theorem where we're also using this uh, quadratic looking piece and cosine c. So this may all look vaguely familiar or incredibly intimidating depending on how you feel about trigonometry. But all we have to do here, any one of you can do this because all we have to do is follow directions. Surprisingly, it's really not that hard. It's not a matter of knowing some fancy math. Just follow the directions. Okay, so let's see which one of these work. We have three answer choices that all look like we're using this style. The problem is, if we look at each of them, okay, we're looking for, of course, the angle theta, the measure of the smallest angle of the triangle. Well, that is going to correspond with the 14, right? So we would say, you know, in this case, if we call that A, here's A. But the problem with our answer choice over here is it's saying it's equal to, well, this looks correct. But this 1 should be the sine of the angle opposite of 18. Maybe call it sine B, if you're calling this B. 1 is not the sine of B. We have no reason to believe that is true. So this is incorrect. Similarly with G, it's the same mistake only we're talking about maybe the third side. I mean, it's arbitrary whether we say this is B or C, but this should be sine C if this 20 is equal to C. And we have no reason to believe that sine C is equal to 1. In fact, it's certainly not equal to 1 if you know your trig identities and how angles work with sine. Anyways, if we look at this next one, the same. this is actually just a further conflation of what's going on. We're further confusing the information here. Sine theta over 20. Now we're talking about, we're looking for the smallest angle. This is the largest side, so that doesn't make sense. We need the smallest side. So even right there, this one is incorrect. Okay, so it looks like we're going to use the other equation because these two are using the other equation. Okay, well if we're solving for cosine theta, it looks like cosine theta is C in our situation. That means we should have a 14 squared out front here, so K is out. And if you weren't totally sure about, let's continue to do this. Well, now we're saying A is 18, B is 20. Negative 2 times A, where's our 18? B, there's our 20. Cosine theta was C, which corresponds to 14. It all checks out. So surprisingly, you didn't really need to know trig to get this question right. You just need to be careful following directions and not intimidated. So don't be scared. The ACT is very beatable, and if you need any help, Get in touch with us in any way you like. Email, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, anything you like, and we'll show you what's going on with the ACT or the SAT. Thanks, everybody, and take care.